What's up YouTube? Welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Hi. Hello, if you're new to the channel, we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food at home. We've got lots of experience in it. Three generations of takeaway chefs and owners. We're also going to start teaching you some traditional Chinese dishes and Malaysian dishes as we own a couple of street food restaurants. So today we're going to be doing a lockdown chow down. Massive shout out to, I can't remember his name, but I will go and look for it and put his name below who gave us the title of the series, because before it was just called Lockdown Recipes, but Lockdown Chow Down, it was just better, wasn't it? Oh, Lockdown Chow Down. Yeah, because do you know what Chow Down is? No. It's when you like, eat lots, oh, you chow I thought, down. Oh, I thought it was, uh, I thought you wanted to put chow man, you got the wrong spelling. You thought, you thought I couldn't spell? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so today's Lockdown Chow Down is a spice bag. It took me ages to explain to mum what um, a spice bag was. It was a difficult conversation because it's never been a thing for us. Apparently it was invented in Northern Ireland, spread all the way through the UK. We're a bit late to the game on that one. So I went out, tried loads of different types and I, I tell you what, not one place does it exactly the same at all. Not even slightly the same as the other. Some places just taste like normal salt and pepper chicken, just that seasoning which we've done before. That's what it tastes like. In other places, it's really punchy, really flavory, really smoky. So that's what we're doing today. But remember, this is lockdown. So we're only gonna be using the ingredients you probably have at home. Now we are aware that you guys watch us. So we do use things that we know you guys probably already have. If you don't, we will, we will suggest substitutions because like I said, this is a lockdown chow down. So don't expect it to be like your takeaway. This is what you have at home and this is a way to use the products you got without having to go outside. Save our NHS, really. Going outside is bad right now. Staying inside is good. And if we can teach you how to spice up, liven up your dinner times, this is, that, well, at least we've helped a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes, we've gone to walk you through. Okay. Yeah. And it's quite easy this. Yeah. Please check out my daily vlog channel. I do obviously daily vlogs up there. People are loving it. I am very sweary and I rant a lot, which is probably why it's growing quite quickly actually. 13 days up on that and I'm already at 720 subscribers. So go check that out. I will link that below in the comments. I'll pin that comment up. Honestly, if, if you're easily offended, don't go over there. <laughs> because yeah, don't watch it. Don't watch it because yeah. it's... Uh, yeah, just turn it off. Yeah, yeah. just... just ignore what I've just said yeah but if you like a little bit of um, honesty because I'm just honest then please head over I think a lot of people just cannot take what I'm saying uh, yeah cannot accept honesty yeah <laughs> but it's weird because a lot of people are loving it yeah because it has but grown. there were um, some people can get offended because they don't like people to swear or anything you know? oh yeah fuck that Ooh. yeah wrong channel it doesn't matter I'll cut that out yeah. I'll bleep it. <laughs> but yeah, I literally swear quite a bit. Let's get on with the cooking. Yeah, sure. Right, so here are the ingredients. We're doing it slightly differently today. We've got them all set up in front of us. Like I said, this is what you have at home. You're definitely going to want some sort of chips. These are all oven chips. They're not fried, are they? No, they're oven chips. Yeah, so you can have them. We would have used a fryer, but we don't actually have a fryer. No. So we used oven chips. I've got yeah. chicken nuggets. These are the next best thing to any sort of Hong Kong style crispy chicken uh, coating. Yeah. A lot of you aren't gonna have custard powder in the cupboards. So like I said, you've got some boring nuggets. Nuggets are never boring, I don't know why I said that. But if you've got some nuggets that you want using up, this is perfect for the spice bag. We had some sausages from uh, breakfast this morning that we've just cut up. Like I said, you can use anything in this. You can use, like in the old videos, hot dogs. Yeah. Even chorizo, I bet would work really nice in this. Yes, yeah, it would be. Uh, so whatever you've got, you can use. Ham uh, or bacon. Ham, bacon, yeah, bacon. Yeah. Ham, definitely. Spam, any meat product really. Tofu, you can replace yeah. them with mushrooms and that with tofu. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, this, this is really simple to do. Half a tiny onion there. A normal size onion, but the tiny for us because we have massive ones about that big. I'd say there's a quarter of a red pepper and a quarter of a green, green pepper. 
We then have a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one and a half teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of Chinese five spice, one teaspoon of, I've forgotten what it is, garlic powder. If you don't have garlic powder, you can replace that with garlic granules or garlic salt. Now, if you're gonna use garlic salt, we have salt here, so use half as much salt as you would because the garlic salt is quite salty. We have onion granules. Onion powder is preferred, but we're using the onion granules here just to show that you can use them. So if you have onion powder, use onion powder, but that is very specialist. Not many places at all smell, smell sell onion powder, so that's onion granules. You can get them in Tesco's or Sainsbury's really easily. Chili flakes, you can use chili powder, of course, but the chef flakes are just nice. You want freshly ground black pepper, so there's about a teaspoon there. Two cloves, I said bulbs last time, two cloves of finely chopped ginger, garlic, sorry. We have, this is gonna be quite a lot, one tea, one heat teaspoon salt, one and a half heat teaspoon of MSG, a third teaspoon of MSG for a separate stage, and you're gonna want quite a lot of oil, so that's about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. We always use vegetable oil in all of our videos. Like I said, all this stuff, can be mitigated. So if you don't have the cayenne pepper, use a bit more chili and a bit more, uh, what's the word? Paprika. Um, paprika, not mitigated, omitted. Uh, onion powder for onion granules. So it's all, if you haven't got Chinese five spice, a lot of places I've had it from haven't even put the five spice in. Generally speaking, that is what a lot of places will do. Also, don't want to put that. this yeah. is what they would do. Yeah. But yeah, there's two major different versions. This combines, the best one I had combined all two aspects of it. So that's what I've done here. And all we're gonna do is combine all of these spices here to make a, a powder. Now, if you're using this, you're probably not gonna use it all in one go. We're, we're gonna use, for all of this stuff, food we have here, about one and a half teaspoons, maybe a little bit more. So you can keep this in an airtight container. Make sure it's airtight, otherwise that will start clumping. Garlic powder is an absolute nightmare well, for clumping, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. We're gonna mix this together and then we're gonna put it all together and show you how to cook it. It's nice and quick, this one. It is really simple. It's literally what you have. Reason for peppers is because, you know, they keep for so long in the fridge. Onions, same as garlic. Nothing, nothing here is really perishable. Frozen, frozen fridge, but you can unfreeze these. Yeah, and, that's right. Um, oil obviously never goes off. So we'll cut to us cooking. Right, so we're gonna put the oil into the pan as always. Oil in the pan. And let the oil get, uh, we don't need it too warm because the sausages are gonna go in first. We want to warm them up through, yeah. make sure they're safe to eat. I can't remember if I said this before, but a lot of places won't use the fresh garlic because that's a lot of time and effort. Part of the idea behind these spice bags is that all they have to do is throw the seasoning in. A lot of them won't cook it like this as well. They'll cook the onions and the um, peppers off and then they'll throw these into the bag and literally just season it. If you're wondering what the mix should look like all together, that's pretty much it. So the um, oil was warm. Warm, yeah. I'd say hot, but not like turbo hot. Sausages go in and we're just gonna cook these until they're nearly ready to eat, really. Sizzling away. Let them be. Let, let it be, let, let it be. Whispering words of wisdom. wisdom. That's all. That's all, that's all, that's <laughs> all. The next words are, let it be. Let it be, let it be. Let it be. That's let all it. I know. Be. Who sings that one, Mum? Beatles. No, close though. John Lennon. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, he did it by himself. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. I, I just forgot some of them are together, some of them are not. Yeah. I know definitely imagine that it's by John Lennon. Oh, wait, no, let, let it be is the Beatles, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine is what I was thinking of. Yeah. Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> I know there's going to be loads of comments before because no one's going to bother of listening to the whole conversation. <laughs> They're all going to go, it's the Beatles! The yeah. Beatles, not John Lennon! Look, I've, I've just corrected myself, so... Potato. <laughs> oh, I thought I was sitting there for potatoes. <laughs> I'm looking for the potatoes. It's, it's, it's an in-joke we have on um, yeah. my vlog channel, so... Yeah. In go uh, your uh, onions, onions now. If you don't want to use so much oil, uh, by all means don't. The problem with these salt and pepper dishes a lot of the time is that to oil. get the fresh garlic to mm. stick to the ingredients, you need a lot of oil. But if you're just gonna 
not use the fresh garlic and the spot just use the spice as a shake you don't need anywhere near as much oil cooking away nicely and now your MSG Stop, this yep. is the small amount the half a the third teaspoon that I took to keep set aside. Now. Yeah, can, can it. Yeah. Now in goes the garlic, and you don't want to overcook the garlic. You just want to throw it in. Throw it in. You want the flavour, right? Yeah. The aroma. And pretty much stir it for ten seconds, and most of them add the other ingredients. Stir this up to stop your garlic from burning. And then you want about a teaspoon. <laughs> Man down. <laughs> and then you want a teaspoon That's of. That's spring chicken. Yeah. So this was on a hot. We're about to turn it down a little bit to halfway. That heat. And you're gonna want. You see now, there's not much oil now. It's just gone into it. Look. Now you're gonna have to get uh, your seasoning. Good teaspoon of heat. We always one, work in heaps here. One heap, yeah? Yeah. Sprinkle on. Mix it up. Mix it up. It's that easy. You can toast it. Toast. Toast. Maybe another half teaspoon. Yeah. And just let these this cook up for a couple of seconds. 20 to 30 seconds. Right, so if you do find that your chips are a bit too greasy, like I said before, uh, I would suggest that the first time you cook this, use half the amount of oil we did, and then decide whether or not it's enough for you from there. I see it's all uh, personal choice, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes. Okay, that's ready. Yeah. Right, so here is the spice bag. It looks... Good. Well, it's not focusing. It looks good, though. It's not. If, these, got, if these were deep fried, oh. you wouldn't need to use so much oil. So I'd probably suggest if you can deep fry it, all the stuff actually deep fry it. Really nice. Check it out and try it. Yeah. So like I said, don't expect this to be like your takeaway one. Like I said before, there are a few ingredients that you need for like an actual takeaway version. This is this, this is, is a lockdown. Yeah. This is a lockdown masterpiece. Yeah. And you know what, aside from the the batter not being right, it's pretty close. If this was made with um, like the Hong Kong style chicken, I'm just going to put a little bit of extra on top. Actually do that, sprinkle some on after it's even better. Mm. Oh yeah, so if you use the actual ingredients we, we teach you to make with our Hong Kong style batter, this would taste like the spice bag. And if you have onion powder, use onion powder. Garlic powder, use garlic powder. The granules aren't as good. They don't have for as much of, I don't know what it is in granular form. It's like a raw flavor. But when it's powdered, it's like a subtle, subtle cooked flavor. And they're very yeah. two different things. This would have been way better if I used the onion powder, but I used the garlic, um, the onion granules. But if that's what you have, that's what you use. This is lockdown. Yeah. And Lockdown. it's really nice, I could munch that and watch a movie. Mm, yeah, it is. Anyway, thanks for being here guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We are Jan's Food Workshop. You are amazing for being here. We have a web store where we sell a lot of, um, of the ingredients, especially MSG, yeah. we sell a lot of it. So go check that out, which is chinandchew.com. We also have a cookbook that's available pre-release. Pre now that has been held up by at least two weeks. So we're looking at beginning of May, mid-May now. Um, obviously, because of everything that's going on, we just can't help that, I'm afraid. So anyone who's pre-ordered there is gonna be a slight delay. Yeah. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Yeah. And mum? Happy cooking, happy eating. That's what I'm doing. A quick side note, we were cleaning down when we came back to the, the spice bag. It tastes, literally twice as good if you've left it to stand it's yeah. weird isn't it yeah so that's what i just thought i'd <laughs> so yeah, i just thought i'd share that with you um you don't have to wait for it the flavor is way more intense yeah it is like when you're watching tv have friends around oh no not have friends around <laughs> <laughs> you got have friends around <laughs>
don't have your friends round. No, I forgot about this lockdown, you know, like when when back to normal, you can have your friends round and have it over your in the barbecue or yeah. outside, indoor, outdoor, or if it's a sunny day, you can take this one out in your garden. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. locked down, just enjoy it in your own garden. Yeah, you can enjoy yeah. lots of things in your own garden as well. Yeah. It doesn't have to be just this. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Yeah. Stay safe. This is the way.